What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, I'm going to try not to get too excited because not that I can't breathe because clearly I'm breathing. But when I get too excited, or when I'm too like, you know what I'm saying? It'd be a little too many breaths. You get what I'm saying? So I don't want to take too many of them. So y'all may not even notice it, but just give me a second. But anyway, I'm dreading right now to make this video because of it. But I got to get out of it. Um, We about to get into it. So <sighs> Kiki Palmer, okay? Apparently, what Kiki Palmer said about her baby father was cap. Now, that video was it. But apparently what she said was, but anyway, it says, oop, Darius Jackson's brother, Saronis, whatever his name is, shares a post stating Kiki Palmer owes Darius an apology after alleged text messages show her admitting to hitting him. Sorry for hitting you. Sorry for being afraid to lose you. So it says Kiki Palmer's in hot water. She had the sisterhood believing her baby daddy was violent and unfit to be a father. Um, he submitted receipts in court of Kiki admitting to not letting him walk away, her assaulting him out of desperation. Yet the sisterhood decided, um, sisterhood sided with Kiki because of the photos without context. Where's his apology? This happens to millions of men all over the world. They try to walk away. They're still called the aggressor cold world. Now, I can't even disagree with that. Y'all know I be telling y'all all the time. You hit a man, he got the right to knock your ass out. A lot of y'all don't agree with me. Well, I mean, what am I doing? What, if I hit him, how I hurt him? What you mean? It's not always the physical that hurts. Hell, I can't say you'll get hit by a nigga that won't hurt. Um, but he, you can hit a man and that, that shit hurt. It hurt anybody. You just Somebody haul ass and just hit you. That's crazy. But anyway, I hate when women act like, I ain't even do shit. I mean, I, what? I just slapped them. You a man, you could tell I hate that shit. Because I'm telling you right now, if if Mango was a boy, a little boy, and a, a girl hit him, I would tell him, knock her ass out. But that's, <coughs> that's how we was raised, because girls will haul ass and whoop on your son. You're not whooping on mine. But anyway, um, so these are the messages. <clears throat> these are allegedly Kiki Palmer's messages. Um, all to myself, I did this. I am so unhappy with myself and going backwards by not being better, stronger, and smarter. I'm really going to have to pray on this because I'm just so sad and triggered to to that deeply lonely, isolated place, isolated place of myself where I tell myself no one in this world understands or loves me. I feel like I'm not capable of pure and good love. And these are the energies I am now feeling and questioning and doubting. I'm just so sad. I feel so lost and it hurts so bad because I thought I was so clear on so many things. Um, I'm ashamed of how I behaved and I'm so, and I'm sorry that I was not who you needed me to be. I'm really sorry because I try so hard. You have no idea. I wish you could see into my heart in my mind, but I know only God can, and that's okay. That's why I love God, because I know that's the one that knows me the most. Uh, read the rest. <laughs> um, I'm not going to lie. Now, I, I don't know when this happened specifically, <clears throat> but I do know postpartum is real. Um, I'm not saying she wasn't that woman before the baby. But hell, if this is after the baby, it is a possibility that that could be postpartum. And that sounds like postpartum. Um, when you just, um, I, I've never been pregnant, but um, women that have spoken about it just feel depleted, so to speak. Um, you know, some of them want to end their life. Some of them want to end the, the, the child's life that they just had. Um, they want to, uh, you know, end the husband's life or the, or the baby daddy and, you know, Men go through it, too. Um, I believe a lot of couples go through postpartum after a pregnancy, and I don't think that that's being discussed enough. All right. Um, I just get so sensitive and become so shell-shocked on the inside. I know when I love, I love hard, and that's why I, don't, I didn't want to be in anything 
then I fell for you and fell harder than before. And I'm scared I'm going to just spiral and spiral and spiral again. I feel so stupid. I gave you so much control over my emotions and this saddens me. I lost myself in trying so hard to keep you and hold on to the hold on to the space that I felt we shared. In that moment in the alley when we were walking away from me, well, when you were walking away from me, um, I was just so soul crushed. The feeling that I felt, I can't explain, and I'm still sitting in in this very moment. <clears throat> that sound was so dark. <clears throat> I can't say that don't sound like it could be her. I'm not I'm not saying that. Obviously, it was in court, so clearly there's some truth to it. But, like, yeah, this is the rest. Y'all can kind of read that if y'all want to. Because, baby, I ain't got the breath. But, um... And for those that's worried, girl, don't be worried about me. When you're sick, you get congested. I'm just congestion. That's all it is. But um, with that being said, um, first of all, I think his brother, and granted, who else going to take up for you? You know, your brother got to hold you down. But in the process of his brother holding him down, I think he's projecting his shit um, because he beat on women as well. Um, I... I it, Clearly, she admitted to um, allegedly putting her hands on him. Um, and it's probably in these text messages that I'm not reading. I ain't gonna lie. Um, Y'all could read it for me, though. And just let me know down in, the, down in the comments. But I think that if you are in a relationship and everybody, you know, you to the point where you've got to put your hands on a person, let that shit go, gang. <coughs> let it go. <coughs> I... In my last relationship, I really lost the love for me real bad. Um, and that was probably the weakest I've ever been. Um, it was bad, bro. And I never go back there. And the reason why I went there is because I invested so much of me into that relationship. And I mean, to the point where it wasn't. Now, all I'm worried about is you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a I'm a put my all in, and when you put your all in, you no longer can cash out from yourself. You get what I'm saying? Like if you get you got money in the bank, if you go take from there every day and don't work for more, you just pulling from your bank account. At some point, it's gonna empty out, right? So I wasn't um Oh, Lord, my post-sick brain. I wasn't putting money back in my bank account. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> to cash back in for when I need it for me. All right? And I feel like she just gave too much. She gave too much in that relationship, and she lost her damn self. Um, so to speak, it seemed like that. that's what she's saying anyway. Um, and she finally is about to have the chance to get out of it. And hopefully she does. Apparently she dropped her, um, not the lawsuit, but she dropped uh, her charges or whatever. But that don't mean he won't pick them up. They them type of people. His mama is, his brother is, and so is he. And she had been on drop charges and this nigga about to sue for everything she got. So um, that's what I got to say about that, y'all. You know, my mama always told me, just know your baby daddy's girl. And I, that's why I ain't got now. Um, and that's really all I got, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, to those that's going to tell me to drink mullen tea, that's all I've been drinking. And I have been coughing up my life. All right. Um, but hey, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. <laughs>